Will she fire up? We'll stick around and we'll find out. Hey guys, Rylo here again with Dallas and today is the day where we're going to find out if this uh, your bike, FE 366 now fires up uh, after all this complete rebuild. So uh, we are almost done with the build, but before we put the graphics on and before we finish it completely, uh, we want to see that it runs. So we have something in here today. Uh, we're gonna use uh, Firepower Oil. Uh, this is a synthetic blend 10W40. Have some coolant from uh, Maxima. And also we need a new battery. I ordered this uh, battery from Firepower. I wanna show it to you guys. Dude, when it came, check out those. <laughs> this thing is so light. I didn't, when I got the package, uh, I didn't even think that uh, there is battery inside. Got shorted, <laughs> got cheated. Yeah, like somebody <laughs> sent me empty bags. So it's really light, this is a lithium battery. It has pretty good cranking power and also it comes with this uh, button on the top where you can test uh, your battery. Three lights is full and so on. So we're gonna install all this uh, in the bike and then once we are done, we're gonna pour some uh, 91. I hit the crank that button and uh, see what happens. <laughs> Alright guys, so we are almost ready to, uh, to hit the button. Uh, you know, we got this uh, Vortex ignition that we are going to map and twist it. So once this bike is running, we will take this Vortex and go together to twist it up and put it on the dyno and then map this uh, CDI, this ignition, uh, to pump the most uh, usable power out of this 366. We want to have a good bottom and that will not uh, stall on you when you go on you know, racks and uh, ride things that are a little more technical and also you want to have the, the good power in the mid and the top so this uh, will be installed later but for now, for the startup, we have everything stuck uh, of the stuck ignition so next man, just hit it, what do you, how do you feel about us? Huh? Give her a go. Give it a go? No, not yet, because we are missing, <laughs> we are missing one important part. So, on my channel, before I start bikes like this, uh, I always pray. So, I'm gonna do a short prayer and then we'll hit it. Amen. Alright, guys, so it's your bike. Hit the button. Sure, you don't want it? <laughs> no, no, just go for it.
pop. Yeah. Does it have choke? Let's see. This part is always so nervous. Alright, so we found out that the spark plug wire was not all the way on the spark plug, so we put it in and see how it goes now. <laughs> we were putting the hour meter on it and I left it unplugged. Amateur. I'm an amateur. Glad you're taking the blame on that one. Of course. My fault. Mea culpa. You guys know that, right? Mea culpa. Go for it. I was a little bit, uh, I don't know, hesitant that like we did something wrong because uh, she wouldn't first, she wouldn't start. But then, yeah, Dallas found out that the spark plug uh, wire wasn't the only way on the spark plug, so that would do the trick. And then after <laughs> that, uh, you just, you just uh, raised the idle a little bit, right? Just a little bit, cranked right over. And uh, as you can see, friends uh, we don't want to uh, ride you know run it a lot in the garage here so uh, we don't want to get poison here but yeah she runs and that's the most important everything is fine we're gonna check all the bolts and make sure that everything is uh, you know fastened properly then we're gonna put seat bag on and uh, take it to twist it so probably in the next video we're gonna see you from a twisted uh, development uh, shop or, or office whatever you call it there. I'm gonna put this bike on a dyno and dial it in. And myself and also Dallas, we are excited to go there because uh, i never seen how to tune the bike on a dyno. Have you seen? Only cars. Only cars. So yeah, I haven't even seen the cars. So for me, it will be like completely, <laughs> completely new experience, which I'm really, you know, uh, stoked to, uh, to have. So definitely looking forward to that video. And uh, they are cool enough over there, twisted to uh, have, us, have us coming with a camera and then kind of show uh, behind the scene uh, uh, what's happening when they are tuning the bikes. Alright guys, well that's about it for today. Thank God bike is running. I think uh, we did a good job and uh, after that uh, we'll finish everything and we are super stoked to show it to you pretty soon. Alright guys, well that's about it for today and don't forget, whatever you do, stay motivated. See you guys later.